Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. I have an interesting story to tell you today about human evolution, red meat consumption, and risk of heart attacks. So let's start with the part about human evolution. As it turns out, approximately a couple of million years ago, our ancestors lost the ability to synthesize a protein called the new 5GC due to a gene mutation. Now we think it's because humans who lack this protein were at the time protected against the type of malaria that was present during that period. And so these individuals were able to survive and they passed that gene mutation on to future generations, including us. Now today's malarial disease affects a different target within our red blood cells. So we're no longer protected against malaria due to this inherited gene mutation, but that's a different story. What's interesting is that red meat, which includes beef, pork, and lamb, contains significant amounts of the new 5GC protein. And once we consume those foods, our body absorbs that new 5GC protein. It enters our bloodstream and into our central circulation. Now, once in our body, this protein appears to act like a foreign protein because our body doesn't recognize it, which triggers an immune response that leads to higher levels of systemic inflammation. Now, we know that systemic inflammation is a major contributing factor to heart attacks, as well as cancer and type 2 diabetes. Now, consistent with this line of thinking is the fact that many human observational studies, or what we call epidemiological studies, show a very strong correlation between consumption of red meat, people consuming beef, pork, and or lamb, and increased risk of carcinomas, especially liver cancer or hepatocellular carcinoma as well as narrowed arteries, atherosclerosis leading to heart disease, as well as type 2 diabetes, as well as all-cause mortality. That means increased risk of death from all causes. So in any society that you look at around the world, the subpopulations of people that are consuming more uh, uh, red meat products tend to have a higher risk of all these health conditions, as well as premature death from all causes when you combine them all. So evidence for a link between red meat intake and heart attacks in humans is particularly strong when you compare humans to other mammals who still produce the new 5GC protein. So humans lost the ability to make this protein, but other mammals did not. What we know is that, it, is that naturally occurring heart attacks due to atherosclerosis or narrowed arteries are virtually non-existent in other mammals, including closely related chimpanzees in captivity who sort of share human-like risk factors. They have high cholesterol sometimes, high triglycerides, high blood pressure, physical inactivity, and that their heart attack risk doesn't seem to be the same as what we have in humans. Researchers are now suggesting that in addition to known risk factors for heart disease, such as high cholesterol and high triglycerides and high blood pressure, inactivity, smoking, and so on, that simply eating red meat, having beef, pork, and lamb, increases inflammation within our blood vessel walls and also adversely affects blood vessel function in other ways. And this in itself becomes a risk factor in and of itself for heart attacks. Now the most recent study to suggest this particular finding was published on July 22nd, 2019 in the issue of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. So in this study, scientists deleted the gene for the, nut, for the new 5GC protein in a group of mice. And by just simply deleting this gene, this mutation alone caused a two-fold increase in narrowed arteries or atherosclerosis in these mice. But the mice who were then fed a high new 5GC rich diet, in other words, a red meat diet, it increased their atherosclerosis by another two to four fold, which could not be explained by a rise in cholesterol or triglycerides or blood sugar. So in previous work, the same researchers showed that the, the dietary uh, new 5GC protein consumption also promoted inflammation and cancer progression in other mice that had the new 5GC gene mutation sort of induced. So the bottom line in all this research is that consumption of red meat, beef, pork, and lamb by humans is emerging as an independent risk factor for heart attacks and possibly other health problems, which is over and above the other known risk factors for heart disease that we're all aware of. So if a wellness lifestyle is truly one of your life's quests, then I think you should pay heed to this research by omitting or greatly limiting red meat consumption as one more strategy to protect your health, improve your healthy life expectancy, and your quality of life. 
So I've included the references for this information in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.